Hello, everybody. Today we continue with the simplification of fractions and we move on to addition and subtraction of fractions. So we start with the diagram we saw in the last video where we try to understand what a fraction is. So we saw that the pink color, the circle here, two parts over eight equal parts are shaded. So you have two over eight of the circle is pink. And for the yellow part, there are three equal parts out of eight are shaded. So you have three over eight of the circle that is yellow. Let us say now we want to add two eighths plus three eighths. So we want to add the pink shares plus the yellow shares or parts. If we add the total number of parts here, pink and yellow, we will get one, two, three, four, five. Five parts in all out of the eight parts. It means if we add two over eight, we will get five over eight. The denominator just remains and we add the numerators because we still have the same number of total parts in the whole. We are adding two parts out of eight plus three parts out of eight. So we'll get five parts out of eight. So it means when adding fractions with the same denominator, we simply add the numerators and keep the denominator. Let's say now I want to subtract the number of pink parts from the number of yellow parts. So the yellow fraction minus the pink fraction. So the yellow fraction is 3 over 8 minus the pink fraction is 2 over 8. So the same thing again, we simply subtract the numerators, 3 minus 2 is 1, and keep the denominator, which is 8. So the answer is 1 eighth. Let us say now that I want to subtract the number, the fraction that's yellow, from the total circle, the whole circle. The whole circle has eight parts. So instead of writing one whole for the whole circle, I can write eight parts out of eight. And you subtract the number of yellow parts, three parts out of eight. So again, I have the same denominator. So I simply subtract 8 minus 3 to get 5 over 8. So that is how we add and subtract fractions of the same denominator. We simply add and subtract the numerators and keep the denominators. If we have a whole, then we put the whole or with the same denominator as the fraction we are adding or subtracting from it. So we now move on to adding and subtracting fractions of different denominators. Look at these two problems. First, I have to add 3 quarters, 3 over 4, plus 2 fifths. As you can see, they have different denominators. The first fraction, denominator 4, 
the second fraction the denominator is 5. We cannot add them as we did last time because they have different denominators. But can we bring them to the same denominator? Yes. Remember last time we saw that if you multiply the top and the bottom of a fraction, the numerator and the denominator, by the same number, the fraction is unchanged. We can use that to bring both fractions to the same denominator. To do that, we find the LCM, the lowest common multiple of the denominators. So we find the LCM of 4 and 5. I remember LCM is lowest common multiple. It's the lowest number both 4 and 5 can be divided into. And if we look carefully, when we check, we see that the LCM is 20. 20 is the lowest number both 4 and 5 can be divided into. So, let us look, what do we multiply the 4 by in the first fraction to get 20? It is 5. And so we multiply both the top and the bottom by 5, get the numerator 20. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 4 is 20. Do the same for the second fraction. We multiply 5 by 4 to get 20. So we multiply the numerator by the 4, get 8. And the denominator by the 4, get 20. And so now we have the same denominator. So we simply add the numerators, 15 plus 8, is 23 over 20. Now this 23 over 20 is what you call an improper fraction. The numerator is greater than the, the denominator. We can convert this to what we call a mixed number because anytime the numerator is greater than the denominator, the fraction is greater than a whole. It is more than one. So how do we convert 23 over 20 to a mixed number? A whole number plus a fraction. Let me show you the long way to do it first and then I will show you the shorter way. 23 over 20 can be written as 20 over 20 plus 3 over 20. It was 20 plus 3 is 23, and you have the same denominator. But 20 over 20 is a whole. So that is 1 and plus 3 over 20. That is the answer. So answer is 23 over 20 as an improper fraction or 1 and 3 over 20 as a mixed number. The shorter way to do this, to get the same 1 and 3 over 20, is simply to divide 23 by 20. You will get 1 and the remainder 3. So the 1 goes as the whole number and the remainder 3 goes over the denominator, which is 20. 1 and 3 over 20. 1 plus 9 over 5. We can write the 1 
as 5 over 5, the same denominator as the other fraction, plus 9 over 5. When we add this, we get the answer as 14 over 5. But this is an improper fraction. We saw last time to convert to a mixed number, we can divide 14 into 5. We'll get 2, remainder 4. So the answer as a mixed number is 2 and 4 over 5. That's it. We'll continue next time with subtraction of fractions as well as a mixture of addition and subtraction, unlike the nominators. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. You can also press the like button or share. I will see you all.